Okay, God bless y'all. My name is Brother Jonathan K. I just want to share real quick uh, this uh, something that uh, the Lord put on my heart a while back to share uh, that I didn't share. And um, I'm just making this because I know it's going to be brief and to the point and real quick. But um, a lot of times when you have warfare, a lot of times when you have uh, whatever you have, you know, whatever stress levels, um, or whatever it can be, right? A good tactic against the enemy um, during those times is to, we are, as we know, pray in the spirit, right? But um, another good thing is to looking at praying in the spirit and worshiping God as exercise. Um, the same way you can strengthen your muscles, the same way you can strengthen your you know uh your brain when it comes to reading or or you know any type of arithmetic it's the same way applies when it comes to the spiritual so if you were to speak in tongues say let's say time under tension for example which um you know i've tried on different occasions and i'm going to continue to try to put that in more practice it's warfare that comes with it also because it will just leave you to it would lead you to cause to pray more um and i mean like throughout the day like your mind is just on it um i mean we know it says pray without ceasing but that is generalizing in a meditation type of feel of constantly having your mind on him so um, but I'm speaking about literally praying, like not just thinking on him and, and, and blessing his name and, and just feeling good about, you know, who he is, which is amazing and it's, it's necessary. However, in the context of what I'm speaking at the given moment is literally praying um, specific things like and then just, you know, put a time on it, like. 15 minutes, you know, um, 10, 10 minutes, you know, and that's a long time when you're praying for different people. That's a long time. And I'm talking about back to back. And I, and I don't mean like, like this isn't like a golden rule of how to do it. Uh, like, okay, pray for this person for a full minute, pray for that person for a full 20 seconds. Like that's up to you. You know what I mean? I mean, it's all up to you, to be honest with you. You don't even have to take what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that um, a lot of times when you have a lot of warfare in your mind and a lot of times we have a lot of clutter in your mind and a lot of times when the enemy is trying to get in your mind and I've recognized when you do these things, this really clears your mind, you know, um, and, 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 and also in the sense of how it clears your mind, it like, it like gives you a uh, even a, a sensation of peace. I mean, because scripture says that he'll, he'll give you perfect peace when your mind is stayed on him. And so, uh, even when you come in his name, you know, uh, and so let me think. Um, so yeah, speaking in tongues, you know, for those who have the Holy spirit, uh, speaking in tongues, you know, uh, praying in the spirit, same thing. And, um, and as you're doing this, uh, you know, you just meditating on him and you're not just aimlessly doing it, but you're meditating on him and you're thinking about him and then he'll actually add to it. And, and, and as you focus on these things and as you do this, I'm telling you, man, you'll, you'll see warfare start to move. You'll see things start to move like, you know, mentally, like, you know what I mean? And, um, and the devil doesn't like it. So, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm rushing to get to this. That's the reason why I'm doing this because I, I should have did it a long time ago. But that's the reason why I'm like, like, nope, I got to do it tonight. No, 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 no. I got to do it tonight because he doesn't want me to say it. Um, but I've seen throughout the years and, I've, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that um, it, 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 it moves things in the spiritual realm. Also, uh... When it comes to uh, thanking Jesus, 
you know, thanking God, thanking the Father in Jesus' name, you know, uh, that also brings a lot of joy when you are down or if you feel funny or, you know what I mean? Like, it takes the focus off, you know? Like it says, um, cast your cares upon him because he cares, right? Um, and so, you know, but, you know, just also glorify him, giving him thanks and things in his nature. It actually adds to joy. It, it, you know, it, it brings, it's, it's, insa it's a beautiful sensation of peace, um, rest. You know, you feel calmer. It's like a, it's our way of meditating. You know what I mean? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It's all long. <laughs> You'll see. That's all long. It's intense. It's actually intense. Um, uh, especially if you're doing that, like, okay, boom, I did that for 5 minutes. Okay, now I'm about to do speaking in tongues for 5 minutes again. Like, this is a spiritual exercise. You know what I mean? Uh, and I tend to have, I've done this one day when I was laying in my bed about a month ago, just laying in my bed and I woke up with that heavy on me to do that because warfare, uh, crept on me. And I don't know from how, you know, like it's a fiery dart scripture says that, that the devil sins. And so it just, you know, it just thoughts came and I can't even explain what kind or how or what is or that. All I know is that the Holy Spirit told me what to do. And he also told me literally to add time to it and, um, and, and to treat it as an exercise. And so I'm sharing this with you from what the Holy Spirit shared with me to comfort others with the comfort that the Lord has comforted me with. And, um, it was very comforting and it gave me peace and it will do the same for you. So, you know, um, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, also warfare, you know, praying warfare, uh, warring in your prayers, uh, interceding, in other words, interceding, you know, um, interceding for the saints of God. And that's where a lot of the warfare comes from more so if you were to ask me uh when the intercession for the rest of the saints uh takes place you know interceding with it that's where the enemy like tries to really get tight i mean like i'm not saying that he doesn't do the same thing with the other things but yeah because uh yeah <laughs> yeah he doesn't want us praying for one another uh and thinking about one another in a, in a way to pray and battle and warfare for saints, sinners, whatever, you know what I mean? And that right there uh, changes things, you know what I mean? That's, I, I, I'm just going to warn you, like, I'm not going to try to just throw you out there and, and let you be, I mean, this is not, this is not something to be afraid of either though, but just know that the enemy is going to be upset. And so, take these precautions but you have jesus christ who is the creator of the enemy okay he's the creator of all things that are created so that alone in that knowledge alone and in your faith in jesus alone knowing that should cover all of the threats and intimidating voices that can try to transpire when you uh hear this message you know and um and when you partake in it as well, and, and the enemy tries to come, but uh, you know, you know, all you gotta do is bind it up in the name of Jesus, and you know, cast him out of your midst in the name of Jesus. Um, it might be a little tough. He might try to do some punk stuff, you know, go through a family member, go through you know the workplace, go through uh, uh in, in in and out about in your day and your travels, things. And I'm just being realistic. I mean, I'm not trying to paint a, a rosy picture, you know. Um. He wants to kill you, you know, um, so, you know, in your travels, uh, and all your, uh, and also in your sleep with, uh, sleep paralysis, but, uh, at the end of the day, I'm just bringing light to his tactics. That's about it. Uh, but regardless, um, that's the small part. 
uh, it's only, um, it's only, it's just that, you know, it's a good practice and that practice can end up being a lifestyle. And I want to also put that in, um, into movement for myself because I haven't, I haven't been doing that in a while uh not n not meaning in this time frame specifically but just like you know since i've started that uh and then he re and what i'm telling you is that he gave it to me again because I, when i really think about it, i'm like well you know what this is something i used to do so what i'm sharing with you is something that you know um he gave to me again. but you know what when i used to do it at first i didn't do it the way i'm sharing it with y'all right now the way i used to do it at first was i used to drive to work and speak in the in the spirit. That's how I did it. Just driving, like, you know what I mean? On my route there. Or, or or any other time, but it was random and it wasn't like an orchestrated understanding that I'm going in with this. You know what I mean? But um but when I used to drive to work, I would specifically do that. Like pray in the spirit on my way to work. And so that's that's you know, that's that. But but what I'm sharing with you guys is actually like in a sense of a time under tension type of thing. Like you're actually exercising. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not about where you went or anything like that or, or you doing it in your routes and stuff like that. It could be cool to do that, but I'm just talking about like, you know, I was in here washing dishes, you know, praying in the spirit, had my timer on and stuff like that and just praying for people, have my timer on, you know. Um, and it, it, it can sound legalistic, so this isn't for everybody, but this is for people who have an open mind. But, you know, it's good to look at, um, you know how scripture says, exercise profits little, right? But the spirit profiteth much, okay? So think of it that way. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't know if you guys exercise, but... It, who those who know about exercising and those who know about I mean everybody knows everybody knows you you put a timer on most people who exercise think about a time so that's all and at the end of the day we love Jesus freely you can do what you want to do you can act like this stuff don't even matter and you could just keep doing how you do it it's all good all glory to God all glory to God God bless you all